Morning bitches and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those new here, I'm Marlena Rivera Maxfield and today I'm going to be filming a vlog for you guys that's kind of just going to go over how I deal with my mental health. So anxiety and depression are both things that I've struggled with for as long as I can remember. I think people have this idea of when you lose weight that magically all of your problems disappear and that is not the case <laughs> at all. Um, I have lost 70 pounds with the help of Weight Watchers or WW or Dub Dub or whatever you want to call it. I have done a lot of mental work both before, during, and now currently. And right now it is winter here in Minnesota. And for me personally, I struggle the most with my mental health in the winter. I get really bad seasonal depression. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I hate the cold. Um, so this whole video is just going to be about how I cope and the things that I do to help myself mentally kind of get through some of these things. So first things first, I'm going to put on some makeup, do something with my hair just to make myself feel a little bit better. That is not to say that you need to wear makeup to feel good about yourself. I personally um, feel beautiful with or without makeup. So yeah, just wanted to say that. <laughs> um, so, first things first, I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer. This is the Tarte Tape. I've already moisturized my face. So this is the moisturizer that I currently use. Got it at Marshalls for $8, okay? So I have pretty good skin. So I don't really use foundation. Like, I don't use foundation. Um, not like really, like I don't. <laughs> so that is just me personally. This look I'm gonna do today is just a really simple, um, just kind of natural, everyday kind of look. I like to do concealer because I get bags and puffy eyes and a red nose, especially in the winter when I am not tan. I'm not a makeup professional. This is just how I do my makeup. Okay, okay. All right. Then I'm gonna do my brows. I always get lots of compliment on my eyebrows. I am very proud of them. They have gone through their own transformation. <laughs> So what I did to grow in my eyebrows after over plucking for many a years, being a 90s slash early 2000s kid, is I used Grande Lash. They do make an eyebrow serum. Um, I used this to help my eyebrows grow back. It took a lot of time and dedication and consistency. Once I let them grow back, I like didn't touch them at all. So I plucked pretty much just like the middle part and just let the rest of it go wild. I know it was a painful process and I just would use concealer and fill them in and do my best. Um, eventually when they were like completely grown back to their natural shape, I started threading. I am team threading all day over waxing. I think you get much more natural lines and you can really complement the shape of your face. Your eyebrow shape is 100% geometry and symmetry. If you don't know, Google it. Okay, anyway. So now that my eyebrows are the correct shape um, and currently they do need to be threaded. I have some kind of little stray guys here. That's okay. So I use this little eyebrow brush. This is e.l.f. It was $3. And then I use this little palette I have. This is Urban Decay. And now that my hair is darker, um, I was blonde and then brown for a while. Now I'm back to black. Um, I use mostly this backdoor color and then sometimes I'll go in with a little bit of black, but not too much. To my thick chicks down in Texas, all the way to New Orleans where the girls cook catfish. And in LA, every chick's an act. I know there are so many like pomades, and I've tried a lot of them. They're very expensive, and I find that for me, this works just as well. Hollywood status with the shaded glasses. To Detroit, yeah, the place that I rest, where the ladies got asses. 
Vanilla last sex. And how to land it, y'all, it's one of the best. I'm gonna pluck a few of these little stray guys. The best. Where they speak southern slang and smoke glasses. And New York women the way. Nobody likes a unibrow. Yeah, I'm feeling myself too much, I guess. But so my now I'm going to go in with the Brow Fix Tint Shaper Brush. I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. 90% of my makeup I get in Ipsy bags. Otherwise, I buy it at Walgreens, y'all. Very few things I buy at Ulta, and one of which that I get act like actually at Ulta or Sephora is this Turk Tape. Because... Your girl is cheap and ballin' on a budget, all right? Me, yeah, baby. Uh, and don't be trying to come around my girl acting like Mr. Friendly. It's still the spotlight. Like there we go. Brows are done. I'm just going to go in on my bottom lash. Get a little bit of dimension here on my lash line. Okay. I wasn't going to put on lashes, but... I think I am just to kind of show you guys how I do my lashes because I always get questioned. These are the Ardell brand wispy style lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna take off this new pair. I'm gonna take a scissors and I'm going to trim them to my eye shape and hopefully not stab myself in the eye with the scissors. So I wear these enough to know how much I need to trim off of them. Um, but if you haven't, just match them up to your eyes and you really want your lashes to kind of stop before it hits the corner of your eye because um, then that'll hurt and irritate your eye. Before I even put my mascara on, I'm going to put glue on these and set them down. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on these. Now, less is more. And I learned that the hard way and sometimes I still use too much and then it's all like goopy and just does not look, does not look good. So I'm going to put glue on them and just kind of set them down so that they can dry and get a little bit tacky because that is the best way to put them on. If you try to put them on with super fresh wet glue, they ain't going to stick, okay? I used to suck at putting these on, like real bad. It took a lot of practice, again. Practice makes perfect. Now I'm just gonna put on mascara, okay? It's very important that you put mascara on your natural lashes whenever you're putting fake lashes on in order for them to look more natural. Mascara I'm using is also from Tarte. It just came with my concealer. When I first started using lashes, I bought a pair that came with an applicator. I don't have it anymore, but um, I would recommend that if you have never used glue on lashes before. It just really will help. It's still the spotlight like Mr. Bentley. I spotted her like Spud McKenzie. And for them fake boobies, I paid them Benjis. Get your own. I got Paris, he got Nikki, he tried to get him a clone. He said, yeah, you know you got extra hoes and everything you do is extra. Cold from the polo fleece to the Jesus piece. I got family in high places like Jesus, niece. Can I please say my piece? If y'all fresh to death. There we go. Okay, when all those finish drying, I'm going to take, oh my god, oh fuck. <laughs> I'm going to take my blush brush, bronzer. This is the Beauty Crop in Tanneries bronzer. Again, got this in my Ipsy bag, y'all. I'm going to take a little bit. And this one here is a heat rock, spit like a beatbox, the way the beat rocks, new version of Pete. Then I'm going to take this Steve Laurent blush. This is I'm blushing. It's very, very pink, so you don't need very much of it. I should take the tiniest bit. Give myself a little rosy cheek. I'm gonna take this guy, call him blend it. Last thing, <laughs> don't forget about your bottom lashes, like I almost just did. 
Do you keep your mouth open when you put mascara on? Or is it just her? Natural day look. Now, so what am I gonna do with you? Probably gonna do something very minimal. <laughs> Literally gonna part it. There's my natural part. So currently I'm doing no heat on my hair. Um, my hair is naturally curly. So to achieve this look, cause this is not my natural curl pattern, um, I washed it and then I just dry, air dried it in a braid. And then I always smooth out my bangs so that it dries that way. Oh God. And like, that's literally all I'm gonna do for my hair today. There we go. I'm gonna put on some jewelry. I do work in jewelry, so all of my jewelry is fine jewelry, diamonds, gold. It's the main reason I work in jewelry. <laughs> it's for that discount. And this one here is a heat rock, spit like a beatbox, the way the beat rocks, new version of Pete Rock. But for that Benz, I get CL love, so I switch my girls around. Jewelry is something that makes me feel good. That is why I'm wearing it today. We have to find things that make us feel good. You know, even if it's little things. So for me, even just putting a little bit of jewelry on, a little bit of makeup, on a day like today, where literally all I wanted to do was stay in my bed, um, will help me feel a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab the rest of my jewelry. It's my diamond, Rihanna. <laughs> cool. Feeling a little bit better. And on to the next thing. Hey guys, so I'm about to get out and get some shit done. Nothing that I need to do except for the fact that I do need to get out of my house and just kind of do some shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go first buy hair, getting extensions um, next month. It is my reward to myself for hitting lifetime with Weight Watchers. So that's super exciting. I'm going to do some shopping. Um, for some clothes and then I'm also going to go for a walk. We're going to go to the sculpture garden uh, Me and Atreyu my nephew that lives with us and um, Just get some steps in and get outside and just kind of walk around and look at some art and um, Yeah, just kind of get out of our heads and a house. So something that's kind of important When I'm struggling. So anyway stay tuned My favorite store, Rainbow. I'm gonna do some shopping. Show you guys what I get. Here we go. Yeah, all sleep on the Rainbow, y'all. All right, just got home from Rainbow, and y'all, this is why I love this store. I just got all this shit for sixty dollars. Now I'm gonna try it on for you. This item number one. How freaking cute is this jacket? $5. Another $5 item. Love this because it's got a pocket here. So this will be awesome for like running outside. And then this actually zips all the way up and buttons and has a hood. So super cute. Love it. Yes. Y'all get to a rainbow. <laughs> Five and already said that. Another $5 sweater. This is so freaking soft. Oh my god. Oh, so soft, so warm, so cozy. $5. $3. So cute. Another $5 item. A skirt. Jean skirt with pockets. Yes, five friggin' dollars, y'all. So everything I've tried on so far has either been a medium or a small. Um, that's usually what I get for their tops. Look at that $5 price tag. Um, these jeans, I've actually wanted these for so long and I'm glad I waited because they were only $10. So this is their VIP jean brand. I got these in a 5.6. They are pretty stretchy, but I'm glad that I sized up in these. I'm usually a three in their other jeans, which I will show you soon. But yes, these are really comfy. They have pockets. 
which I love, and they're um, cropped at the bottom. Super cute. Love. Here you go. This dress was three, three, don't mind my ugly nails, <laughs> dollars, y'all. I don't have anywhere to wear it yet, but when I need a cute dress, you best believe I'm going to be like, oh, I have that adorable $3 polka dot dress from Rainbow. Oh, my God, it's so fucking cute. Like, I can't even. I can't even, y'all. All right, last two items. I got this top for work. So cute. It was seven, yes, yeah, seven dollars. Um, and then these jeans, not for work. <laughs> They're so cute. I love the fringe at the bottom. Super cute. Um, and these are their wax brand jeans. Um, and this is a size three. I am five foot two, 155 ish pounds currently. So there is my rainbow try on. And honestly, y'all, most of the shit in my closet is from rainbow. <laughs> I love their store. So I did also get these high-waisted black jeans, which is literally the only thing I went to Rainbow for and tried to be cute and get a zero because last time I bought this style, they were like, I mean, they fit, but they were pretty stretchy. Yeah, y'all, I cannot fit my ass into a zero. <laughs> so that's okay. I'm going to bring them back and exchange them for the right size, but I freaking love these jeans. The butt, I love you. Get it. Yes, they are the best. What do I have to talk about? Mm. Anxiety. It freaking sucks. Depression really freaking sucks. Um, there really is no one fix all. There really is no one thing that even works all the time for me. Um, it's usually a compilation of things and also the combination of me taking care of myself in all aspects of my life. So I hope that this video is helping and yeah, sometimes spending money helps. <laughs> sometimes journaling helps. Sometimes just cleaning my house helps. Sometimes getting some extra sleep helps. I don't know. It's kind of, it's subjective to whoever is struggling, I guess. I just hope this video is helping somebody because it ain't easy putting myself out here like this. I want to share the real stuff, the truth, my truth, the struggles and the triumphs. And I want it to just be all about the food I eat or the exercises that I do because so much more than that. Just giving my plant babies some light. Figured I'd show you guys what I'm having for lunch. I kept myself nice and busy all day. It's about three o'clock right now. I did have some coffee with Premier in it to keep me full this morning. It's the first time I'm eating. So keeping myself busy is 
a huge help in not eating <laughs> when I don't need to be eating. So there's a tip for you. If you're having a rough day and you feel like all you want to do is eat, keep yourself busy. But it is time for me to eat now. brushed my teeth so I don't eat anything else and yes that works for me because I don't want to have to brush my teeth again um, all ready for bed fresh face moisturize and um, I'm gonna go to bed and get a good night's sleep it was um, a pretty good day I'm feeling a little bit better I feel like I'm kind of starting to come out of this slump that I've been in so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe share with anybody else might benefit from watching my videos or enjoy them.